Good morning, and a very warm welcome to you to uh, the Barbican Centre for today's graduation celebration for the University of Law. Um, delighted to welcome you. My name is John Watkins. I am the University's Director of Employability, and I just make a few announcements uh, before we get proceedings formally underway. So in, in time on a tradition, if I can ask you to switch off your mobile phones or put them to silent, that will be great so that we don't get disturbance. And also on the photography front, uh, if we can avoid any flash photography during the course of proceedings, that would equally be very much appreciated. Uh, we are not expecting uh, any fire drills today, so if there is a fire alarm, we will need to evacuate the premises. Uh, we will be guided by um, our hosts from the Barbican who are dotted around uh, wearing Barbican t-shirts to hopefully escort us safely from the venue. Um, just in terms of the protocol um, for the graduands, uh, in terms of how we navigate the, uh, the journey from where you are now to being back in your seat. Uh, first of all, bearing in mind some misbehavior yesterday afternoon, misbehavior in inverted commas, uh, hopefully you are sitting in the seat which was allocated to you, uh, rather than spotting a friend you haven't seen for a while and decided to go and sit with them. That can cause havoc in terms of the running order. So uh, once I've finished, if you are sitting in the wrong seat, um, then please do go back to where you were originally allocated uh, that would be much appreciated. If everybody needs to move, there will be a short delay, but hopefully it'll just be one or two. Um, in terms of navigating across the stage, uh, you will go from my left, your right, uh, along the stage. Uh, you will see on the red carpet there is a, a cross on there. Um, this is not very sophisticated. You stop on the cross um, and, uh, and you bow to the Vice-Chancellor, assuming that you are comfortable doing that. Um, we have dispensed with uh, the shaking of hands. We're not going for fist bumps. We're not going for elbows. Um, please don't elbow the Vice-Chancellor. That would not be good. Um, and you will then navigate your way off the stage. Now, really important to point out from a photograph perspective um, that once you've done your bow, and it doesn't need to be a huge great bow uh, or a curtsy. We had some curtsies yesterday. Don't, no need for those. Um, just a small bow of the head. Um, then you carry on walking. So you don't stop for a formal photograph, you carry on walking. It's a much nicer action shot. And your gaze should be up to the top, where the gentleman there is waving the photographer. Uh, it's up there. Don't be distracted by this camera here, which is doing the live streaming. Look up there and your shot will be optimized. Now, I appreciate that's an awful lot of information to take in uh, at this early hour in the morning. So we're going to do a live demonstration for you, just to help you. <laughs> now, before we do this, one of the oddities of this experience uh, is the fact that for some unknown reason, quite a few people decide that today is the day that they're going to try a new walk. Um, now, if, if that is what you want to do, then we're not going to stop you. Maybe you went to bed last night and you thought, I've achieved so much, but there's just one thing that I'm not satisfied with, and tomorrow's the day. Maybe you woke up this morning and thought, it's a milestone day, I tell you what, I'm going to change my walk as well. Uh, if you want to, you can, but there's no need for it. Um, make your way across the stage. Uh, this is a celebration. This is an opportunity to have a, a few moments of fame, so nice and steady as you go. No need to rush across um, and, uh, and make your way across. So uh, we'll do a quick live demonstration. Treya will be a student, uh, graduand, and I will be the vice-chancellor, so watch up. Marvellous, I do feel powerful now. Um, so, without further ado, when I leave the stage, um, the wonderful music will start up and the platform party will make their way in from the back. At that moment, uh, you will be encouraged to stand, uh, if you're able to do so, and proceedings will commence. I hope you have a wonderful celebration today. Thank you very much.
graduands, colleagues of the university, proud parents and friends. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our November 2022 graduation ceremony and to welcome you to the wonderful and iconic Barbican Centre. <clears throat> Today is the very best day of the academic year for myself and for my colleagues at the university. To say that we are filled with pleasure and pride to welcome our graduates here is a true understatement. We are just simply and utterly delighted. Your success is our mission. Seeing you here today is the culmination of a unique partnership between you as brilliant, committed, and incredibly hardworking students, and ourselves as your tutors, guides, and mentors. We have been privileged to be part of your lives, and we hope that you will remain part of the family of the University of Law as our alumni in the future. And what a wonderful way to put aside the turmoil of the moment and celebrate your achievement today. So, today I'm going to keep my words brief. It's all about celebrating you. But what I do hope, in what I have to say, <clears throat> will give you some food for thought and some encouragement as you continue on this next phase of your lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. To the graduates assembled here, I have first of all to offer my congratulations on behalf of everyone at the university for the success that we are celebrating today. Everyone from the university, those here and those absent, wants you to know just how happy we are for you today and just how very, very proud you have made us. You have now moved on to a new chapter of your lives, to further study, traineeship, pupillage, paralegal work, or diverse careers in business or law or beyond, both here in the UK and indeed across the world. I would counsel you to do two things before the end of today. Firstly, take a moment to think of and thank all those who have encouraged and sustained you through your extensive studies, on whatever level. The route to qualification as a lawyer or in business is rigorous, long and extremely demanding. Then, take another moment to reflect on your personal achievement. You have worked so very hard to be here. You surmounted the many challenges presented by the pandemic, as well as the academic rigor of your studies. Reflect on the fact that you set out to do something that not many get to achieve, and you did it. The question now is what you do with it. So, I offer you first some practical advice and then a thought on how to use your legal or business expertise. The best practical insight I can give you is from my own experience. Now, life will throw many challenges your way. Its tests and trials may be big or small, fair or unfair, but in coming through them, you will emerge stronger. And while we celebrate success today, it's important to acknowledge that many of life's lessons are also learned in failure. And as a result, you must not be scared or thrown by it. In fact, failure is just part of the path to great success in the form of understanding yourselves and others, in learning new things and in finding your true value in the world. And in this busy, confrontational, and frantic world, take time as individuals and as professionals to listen, to reflect, and then to listen again. Nelson Mandela, one of the greatest figures in modern times, and a London-trained barrister, offered the following observation. 
I learned to have the patience to listen when people put forward their views, even if I think those views are wrong. You can't reach a just decision in a dispute unless you listen to both sides. Simple but profound advice. Graduating today, you join an illustrious list of alumni. That's a test for me. An illustrious list of alumni leading, both my, both leading minds in both the law and beyond. These include the ex-Lord Mayor of London, Dame Fiona Woolf, legal entrepreneurs like Elliot Chalmers, owner of the first ever independent music law site for musicians in the UK, policy makers, a rather alarming number of politicians from across the spectrum, including Lord Mayor Sadiq Khan, Hazel Blears, Maria Eagle, Harriet Harman, Charles Falconer, and Baroness Saida Varsin. Then there are the lead leaders of business, like Nick Connor, MD of Volvo, and outstanding sportsmen and women, including Aniola Aluko, who played football for England and Chelsea, and Johnny Searle, Olympic gold medalist in rowing. You are indeed in very good company. I offer these examples only to remind you that there is no limit to what you can achieve. And achievement does not need to be marked by grabbing headlines. To the contrary, true achievement is to pursue your lives and careers with the same energy and integrity with which you have pursued your studies. You have chosen a path that allows you to be transformative. Then be inspired and make a difference. Graduates, we need you. We need you to set up and run companies and drive innovation. We need you to serve at the highest levels of government. We need you to work in our courtrooms and in our schools. We need you to shape the future of technology. We need you above all to challenge mediocrity and injustice. We need you in so many different places because the totality of your intellect, your compassion and your lived experience will make our world a better place. I would like to end with a famous lesson learnt from the habits of Canadian geese. These incredible birds, very much like you, students, are super smart. They've learned that by working with rather than against each other, they achieve greater flying distances than flying solo. When the lead goose tires in flight, another of the team instinctively takes over. If one gets sick, two drop out and follow it down to help. And so, appropriate to us here today, throughout their journey, these wonderful, smart, ambitious creatures constantly honk encouragement to each other because they found that by doing so, to fly further. Let's take this lesson and follow those Canadian geese. Thank you for listening to me this morning, and I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Graduates, university colleagues, proud parents, carers, supporters and friends. On behalf of the Vice-Chancellor and all my colleagues, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to our October 2022 graduation ceremony. As the Vice-Chancellor has mentioned, this is one of our favourite days of the academic year. And it is fantastic to see so many graduates here today so that you can recognise and mark and celebrate your achievement, which is a significant milestone in your life. This is especially the case after the challenges of the last few years, when you have to, had to have to cope with unprecedented challenges,
both in your education and daily lives. But the fact that you are here today is a celebration of your success and your resilience. Education is about growth, not just grades. You have adapted and grown in a difficult time, which has undoubtedly enriched you and added to your academic success. While your university experience may not have been quite what you expected, it still should be cherished. All those triumphs and setbacks you and your fellow students shared together has given you a remarkable bond and made your path unique. Graduates, each one of you is here today through your own sustained hard work. You needed courage to face the challenges of university learning. You have needed to develop certain qualities of character and mind to achieve this. These qualities include empathy, rigor, the capacity to think independently, to listen politely, and when necessary, to disagree without being disagreeable. With these qualities, you are empowered to seek out new opportunities with the confidence that you can contribute and with the knowledge that you are ready and that you can overcome challenges and those unexpected setbacks. That is the power of university education. Looking back from a distance of 30 years when I was sitting in your seat, experience has shown me that kindness, integrity and collaboration will help achieve your goals. In your career, you have the potential to be profoundly impact and influence both society and individuals. This is particularly true in these times of great change, challenge and uncertainty, and absolutely the times that we find ourselves in today. So whatever route you pursue, with it comes the privilege and the duty to serve others. And reflecting on that, I would like to share with you the words from a husband and wife. The first being the former US President, Barack Obama, himself a lawyer. Keep exploring, keep dreaming, keep asking why. Don't settle for what you already know. Never stop believing in the power of your ideas, your imagination and hard work to change the world. But the words from Michelle Obama, the former First Lady, said, no matter what happened, I had the peace of mind knowing that all of the chatter, the name calling, the doubting, all of it was just noise. It did not define me. It didn't change who I was. And most importantly, it couldn't hold me back. So graduates, during the ceremony today, I also invite you to reflect. I invite you to ask yourself, what is my core purpose? But rather than just to reflect, try and look forward 20 years and ask yourself, when my story is written, what would I like people to say about that? And secondly, what will be my contribution to my family, to my community, to my profession, and the world around me? Graduates, we have endeavoured to bring you on a journey of experiences that will help you to grow and transform. The whole of the University of Law celebrates with you. We are proud of your achievements, but there is still much to do, and today marks that new beginning. Like the Vice-Chancellor, I call each of you to action, to go out from here with confidence, with our very best wishes, and to work actively towards that good and generous life. I do personally wish you all the very best. Enjoy your day and enjoy your celebrations. Thank you. I call upon Sarah Pooley to present the students from Guildford and Reading for the award of their degree.
Vice Chancellor, I present to you and the whole university the student from the Guildford campus for the award of Bachelor of Laws, Mahanel Banat Isalim. And now I present to you the students for the award of Graduate Diploma in Law, Feda Abdel Rahim. Benjamin Lewis. Totoku Nawadiki. George Page. Shwana Ravi. Rachel Standish. Emily Wiggins. And now I present to you the student for the award of Graduate Diploma in Law and Master of Laws in Professional Legal Practice, Pooja Jogru. And now I present to you the student for the award of Graduate Diploma in Law and Master of Science in Law, Business and Management, Felicity Bull. And now I present to you the students for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Professional Legal Practice, Christian Evans. <laughs> Jamila Khatun. <laughs> Kelvin Mugarari. Bethany Phuket. And now I present to you students for the award of Master of Laws in Professional Legal Practice, Rabia Ahmed. Ekia Akresi. Fatima Amedu. Maggie Chong. Megan Crook. Courtney Cummings. Rory Duffy. Shanaz Farid. David Fulbrook. Gosigan Gana Kumaran. Caitlin Goodliffe. <laughs> Varusha Ishwa. Oh, Arsalan Oloha. Oh, sorry. Varusha Ishwa. Arsalan Olhok.
Hasini Jayasurya. Gayathri Kana Gasundaram. Shashi Kashpa. Caprice Kent. Summer Khan. Raman Kumar. <laughs> Tiffany Luhasu Wanapit. Hunt. <laughs> Alyssa Morrison. <laughs> Nitu Nair. Neela Osman. <laughs> Rachel Parker. <laughs> Shanila Parveen. <laughs> Demi Lee Pulliston. Ella Potok. <laughs> Roxana Silverton. <laughs> Andreas Goff. <laughs> Larissa Spalding German. Jade Steele. <laughs> Nikita Utamsing. <laughs> Ashley Wakefield. <laughs> Jade War. Sophie Willis. Emma Wiley. And now I present to you the students for the award of Master of Science in Law, Business and Management, Ineza Bernardo. Mitchell Blythe. <laughs> Sandeep Danjal. <laughs> Nora Garas. <laughs> Yasmin Haddad. George Laidlaw. <laughs> Shems Majid. <laughs> Annalie McCormack. <laughs> Henuja Najendra. Laura Parkinson. <laughs> Lucy, 
Raffaella Sacolari. <laughs> Sophie Vettlaufer. <laughs> Bethany Williams. <laughs> Burfin Yetiskin. And finally, I present to you students for the award of Master of Arts in Law, Charlie Abbott. Jonathan Brook. Clemence Cognard. Charlotte Cossey. Abigail Dukova. <laughs> Callum McLeod. <laughs> Jessica Morley. <laughs> Katie Morrison. Jessica Lee Nixon. Amy Pincott. Natalia Simons. Georgia Smith. Vice-Chancellor, I present to you and the whole university the students from the Reading campus for the award of Graduate Diploma in Law, Paula Vetz. And now I present to you the students for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Law in Professional Legal Practice, Baina Badma Garayeva. Vishma Indoy. Ayula Osiefa. Yogta Parkash. And now I present to you the students for the award of Master of Laws in Professional Legal Practice, Sabrina Ashfak. <laughs> Veronica Ayrumyan. <laughs> Elizabeth Brammel. <laughs> Alice Chaplin. Lauren Fletcher. <laughs> Zara Mahmood. <laughs> Sitsi Matuzi. <laughs> Tereniola Oluwasini. Cynthia Opuk Gayanfi. <laughs> Marilyn Perez Milan. <laughs> James Perkins. <laughs> Mohammed Raymond. Zina Yunus.
And finally, I present to you the students for the award of Master of Science in Law, Business and Management, Mohammed Ahmed. <laughs> Ujawal Garoum. Arandrot Johal. Anissa Tariq. I call upon Mary Meditsky to present the students from London Moorgate for the award of their degree. Vice Chancellor, I present to you and the whole university the students from the London Moorgate campus for the award of Graduate Diploma in Law. Eugenia Ajoa Kaseba at Corval. <laughs> Aisha Ali. <laughs> Karen Jemima Dizon, Austria. Beatrice Alexandra Brown. <laughs> Keegan Taz Brazier. <laughs> Francesca Crociati. <laughs> Kristen Gabrielle Del Rosario. Fai Gao. James Gilly. Esther Nora Gittens. Connor Hardy. Catherine Elizabeth Jackson. <laughs> Galina Kamensky. <laughs> Rahul Kanani. <laughs> Christina Kekarainen. Ida Keskin. <laughs> Yanda Softness Mankanda. <laughs> Aksa Nadim. Sangeeta Sambi. Gleb Sarin. Helena Alexandra Silovich. Jingwen Sun. Serena Davina Swabi. <laughs> Waikit Daniel Waikit Wong. <laughs> I 
I now present to you the student for the award of Graduate Diploma in Law and Master of Science in Law, Business and Management, Priya Jatindra Patel. And now I present to you the students for the award of Postgraduate Diploma in Professional Legal Practice, Alif Idogdu. Elizabeth Ann Jones. <laughs> Razika Via Bharati. <laughs> and now I present to you the students for the award of Masters of Laws in Professional Legal Practice. Nadine Adeyemi. Mohammed Arshed. <laughs> Mary Jacqueline Chitima Wanji Atuye. <laughs> Samreen Baba. Barbara Elizabeth Barnes. <laughs> Hind FMF Bazaj. <laughs> Shuhailu Begum. <laughs> Jan Bevida. Megan Rihanna Buckley. <laughs> Emilia May Capitelli. Yeah. Kenna Chukwu Titus Eze Chime. Zara Banu Chowdhury. <laughs> Yaida Dalfinis. <laughs> Zormain Saeed Dogar. <laughs> Jennifer Claire Dowling. Maria Dvornikova. <laughs> Eski Dennis Esser. <laughs> Mariam Eniola Gabadje Biamila. Kaya Gillard. <laughs> Saima Hussein. <laughs> Hannah Ahmed Mohammed Abdallah Ahmed Ibrahim. By Vishna Kanabiran. <laughs> Hatis Karaslan. <laughs> Bilge Kotal. <laughs> Nathan On Siong Keysbury.
Anjuma Khalik. So Lat <laughs> Amelia Emma Maher <laughs> Sana Mahmoud <laughs> Said Deborah Majakodumi. Priya Josephine Massey, <laughs> Farwa Masood, <laughs> Spa Nadim, <laughs> Fahmida Anjum Nazneen. Kamsi Wakadi <laughs> Francesca Idioma Ofia <laughs> Amatolu Taiwo Oyawala <laughs> Michael Oyibo, <laughs> Manali Snehal Patel, <laughs> Nikisha Patel, <laughs> Shivani Devan Patel. Andrew Shane Pereira, <laughs> Sabiba Rahman, <laughs> Aniket Najendra Rajani, <laughs> Vincent Pierre Sade. Celine Abira Selvaraja, <laughs> James Alexander David Smith, <laughs> Claudia Nadine Soria Velasco, <laughs> Lorenzo Sumo. Lucy Thompson, <laughs> Anais Natalie West, <laughs> Benjamin George Wilson, <laughs> Shin Ha Yu. And now I present to you the students for the award of Master of Science in Law, Business and Management. Yvonne Victoria Yar Kierema Adai. <laughs> Mohammed Usuf Ali. <laughs> Barak QAA Almojalhem. George Raymond Manning Batty. <laughs> Jennifer Catherine Brewer. <laughs> Q 
Karina Ann Casey. Sandra Marcella Chlopas. George William Spencer Coy. Hania Noor Zainab Dariawu. Simran Kaur Dillon. Vincent Robert Fraser. Samuel James Gordon. Roberta Hack Williams. Alicia Francesca Hilton. Ayamida Tololope Ibukunulua Oduwu. Chidosie Achika Mwa Kachi Agu. The next one, Navid Anwa Hussein. Zainab Kassam. <laughs> Nicholas David Kenny. <laughs> Afia Wahid Khan. <laughs> Ala Koman. Abigail Hardeep Kara Kuman. <laughs> Stephanie Kushanu. <laughs> Aisha Zara Mahmoud. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Mahoney. Morgan Sean Mannion. <laughs> Hannah Rebecca Mendel. <laughs> Charles Darius Mendoza. <laughs> Dwayne Okudwidi Obi. Mary Osafisan. <laughs> Sophia Singh Panwa. <laughs> Devong Raja Tukka. <laughs> Ashley Grace Uriya Ravina. Abu Bakr Sata, <laughs> Francesca Josephine Gabriella Scott, <laughs> Irina Semanaj, <laughs> Nazila Scherze.
Hatice Taz. Madalena Taisu. Maya Tarun Taka. Aliyu Mustafa Wushishi. And now I present to you the students for the award of Master of Arts in Law. Shani Bowl Morgan. <laughs> Catherine Wai Hang Chan. <laughs> Lawrence Henry Cubbon. Taylor Marina Diamond. <laughs> Melvin Gentry. <laughs> Farah Rana. <laughs> Harriet Leanne Simmons. Maria Slavova, <laughs> Shamrez Ali Said, <laughs> Georgina Eleanor Limbra Townsend, <laughs> Elizabeth Vera. Shen Guan Zhao, <laughs> Fatmata Yunga, <laughs> Nishan Zhang. And now I present to you the students for the award of Master of Laws in Company Law, Grishma Harshvardhan Brambat. <laughs> Harry Joe Ferguson. <laughs> Cleopatra Scott Miller. And now I present to you the students for the award of Master of Laws in Corporate Governance, Saram Ali. <laughs> David Akana Paramo. And now I present to you the students for the award of Master of Laws in Corporate Governance, Grad ICSA, Maranatha Chibundom Abraham. Hui <laughs> Kai Esther Chan. Mithirai Kotandaraman. <laughs> Asil Mohammed Kumiti Vidu. <laughs> By Shali Kitan Munyasara. <laughs> Ganesh Vinod Nalawada. Pradeep Manikandan Periyasami. 
the next one. Luxumi Sweet Hassan. And now I present to you the student for the award of Masters of Laws in International Business Law, Hafsa Abdesadek. <laughs> Taiwa Bosayo Oyadele. <laughs> Omer Iftikar. Malena Leonardo. <laughs> Brittany Dijane Alia Moss Jeremiah. <laughs> Pratna Shivnani. Polya Svetanova Tsankova. Sarah Amy Turner. And now I present to you the students for the award of Master of Laws in International Corporate Governance, Shadia Abdarahman. Muyua Michael Osimbola. <laughs> and now I present to you the student for the award of Master of Laws in Legal Practice Conflict Resolution, Jerry Keatser. <laughs> And finally, and finally, I present to you the students for the award of Master of Science in Legal Technology. James Bakodja. <laughs> Nenna Kalu-Ude. Jessica Sorendorf. I call upon Professor Marco Mongello to present the students from London Moorgate Business School for the award of their degree. Vice Chancellor, I present to you and the whole university the students from the London Moorgate Business School for the award of Masters of Science in Cybersecurity and Data Governance. Chirono Barno. <laughs> and now I present to you the student for the award of Master of Science in Project Management, Mahim Ibn Akhil Chowdhury. Finally, I present to you the students for the award of Master of Science in Strategic Business Management. Linsel Patrick Curtis Hook. <laughs> the 
Claudia Jamima Sifa. Ganesh Nalawadi. Ismail Usman. Zain Mushtaq. Satin there, Sus. Rachel O'Killo. Mannan Shah. Hilda Kwofki. Mary Ozofizen. Aisha Khan. Linda Azari. <laughs> Collins Fadari. <laughs> Danish Ali. Yetunde Omawarere. <laughs> Vice Chancellor. I present to you and the whole university our student vote of thanks representative, David J. Fulbrook. Good morning, Vice-Chancellor, guests, academic staff, and fellow graduates. On behalf of all graduates, I would like to take this opportunity to firstly thank you all for being here to celebrate with us on this memorable day. I would like to thank our lecturers who have prepared us for what we hope to be a bright and promising future ahead, as well as support staff, tutors, and others that have helped us on our journey. We sincerely thank you all for your efforts, ensuring that we have had the best opportunities to learn, build our knowledge, and gain invaluable experience. We thank you for your time, dedication, advice, and most of all, your belief in us. Greatest and most sincere thanks goes to our family and friends for their enormous support throughout our time at the University of Law. Our families have been supportive understanding, patient, compassionate, and encouraging, whilst we have been completing our studies, and for this, we are truly forever grateful. Indeed, as someone who took return to education later in life, I can say with some confidence that without a strong network of support, such a feat as my fellow graduates sit here having achieved is near to impossible. When I left school in 2003, having struggled and underachieved throughout, I attempted to continue and better my education. However, 
With a fragmented family and no permanent home, unsurprisingly, my time at college lasted less than a month. Thus, I was swallowed up by the working world, seemingly condemned to move between low-paid and unfulfilling jobs, never making ends meet, and in perpetual wonder of what might have been. Over a decade later, when I took the monumental step of returning to education to pursue the career of my dreams, the difference was that I did not do it alone. When I could not find a way, my family helped me make one by sharing the yoke of the financial burden, allowing me to concentrate on my studies. Friends encouraged me and reassured me, helping me feel like the drastic course of action I was taking was less of a risk. When I arrived at the Guildford campus in 2017, my support network multiplied in an instant. There are countless examples of the support I received, but one was perhaps most pivotal to my academic journey. On the LLB, the old difficulties that had plagued me through school returned. The difference this time, however, was the fact that the university staff knew me, not just as a name and student number, but as an individual. They noticed my struggles and took the time to offer help. I was referred to the Disability Support Service and after an assessment, I was diagnosed with a specific learning difficulty. For the first time in my life, my educational struggles made sense. With help, support and understanding from every member of staff I met throughout the LLB and subsequent LLM, I was able to overcome a lifetime of underachievement and obtain results that were far beyond my wildest dreams. Therefore, fellow graduates, I truly believe that we stand on the shoulders of two giants, our loved ones and the University of Law. These two titans are made up of countless constituent parts of people like ourselves, who together have the power to drive others to greatness. Now, in turn, you must go forward following their lead and help others experience the view from the top. Fellow graduates, I'm sure you are all with me when I say that we will take away many special memories with us from our time studying together, and we look forward to our futures ahead. I would now like to invite all graduates to stand and show our greatest appreciation and thanks. I hereby confer the degrees for which they are now qualified on all those presented to me today and on all those listed in the programme but who were unable to attend the congregation. Thank you all. Well, that concludes our graduation ceremony. Please join us for refreshments outside this hall on the lower ground floor and on the ground floor. Please stand. <laughs>